everyone welcome back all right got swatches for you of this delazi darkroom palette that is a collaboration with the makeup artist jordan liberty this here i picked up two palettes during the sale this is the inside i do have a massive collection of the um Stelazzi single shadows. They're in the three gram pans. I have those in there. There's plenty of videos on them. You'll find them. Let's do some swatches. Let's see what we got here. I haven't played with this yet. Uh, we have Riviera, Santa Cruz. My eyes are like falling out of my head from doing all these swatches. Moonwalk and Solar. Here. Jordan Liberty is a real makeup artist. There go. He does beautiful looks if you want to follow him on like Instagram and all that. Uh, then we have Bondi and Baracco. This could be a topper maybe. It looks kind of sheer. I think the other one might be shifting too. This I'm going to say is more of a a topper it's right there like anything you can build it up these are just quick swatches uh i can't see genesis it's under my finger oh god under my nail sorry about that supernova some of these might be topper shades double tap and pull side i'm thinking this could be a topper too has a purpley pink shift to it. That one I can't even see. It's there's a swatch there. Hopefully it shows up on camera. These do not seem like the same consistency of his other ones. Uh, DTLA, drop top. What does I say? Fathom. This tree here. Some of these are really light. Oh. That green will just, it's one of those that'll keep going for days. It's a good green. Uh, the black is called Asphalt. Uh, dark Brown, Dark Horse. Next one is Legend. That's a good black. There. Two more. Elsium, I think it says. And infrared. So that's two. Uh, there's infrared. There's infrared and there's Elsium. So there you go of swatches of the Darkroom palette. The Stelazi and Jordan Liberty. Alright, uh, I did throw on some eye primer. Elf. I'm gonna see if I can bang out two quick looks. More vibrant look and then a more mellow look, which I can kind of do in here. All right. Yes, my eyes probably turning all red from putting all these crazy shades on. All right. I am gonna go with Genesis. Nah, actually, I'm gonna go into Riviera, the green. The very first swatch. That one right there. green my color switch here for this eye we're gonna go in with drop top which I think anybody can wear it's like a coppery shade I smashed myself in the nose <laughs> I don't know if that brush touched my nose so that's gone I got another one I got five of them <laughs> I don't think these formulas are the same. This has a lot of kickback in the pan. I don't know what's happening. I like still these shadows. 
don't know about this palette. But I wanted to, you know, support Jordan Liberty. I think I've met him. I've met so many of them that I don't, I don't fangirl about it. I'm not one of those. Uh, in the crease, I'm going to go with, what do we got here? Uh, the shade right next to it, DTLA. Which I'm guessing means downtown LA. I don't know. Now, just because it kicks up in the pan doesn't mean it's bad or anything like that. Those shades are very similar, you can see. So it's like one's almost the metallic and one's the matte. So I'm going to go into a deeper shade below it, that Elsium. I just want to show you the kick up. I, I, you, if you've seen, I barely touch anything with my brushes. I, I don't swirl. <sighs> Goddamn lights. Come on. Right in there. Mm. I just want to show you you can darken this up. Since those colors are very, very similar. So that deepened it just a little bit. If you want to go deeper, go into Dark Horse, which is the darker brown. There you go. Greg's walking around. Sorry if you can hear that. He's got his big ass work boots on. I don't know why he ain't working. <laughs> We're not going for perfection here with these videos. I'm already way over on this one, but that's all right. Uh, let me go back for this side. This is pretty, though. Um, hmm. What am I going to do with that green? Uh, I'm going to go into the deep green Fathom. It just a ton of kick up. I'm kind of surprised. It's got to be a different formula of theirs. I've never had this much kick up, I don't think, with a Stelazi shadow. This is not working either. It could be the print. I got fallout everywhere. Wow, I'm kind of bummed. I like Stelazi shadows, but I've never had it perform like this. It really shouldn't matter which primer you have on your eye, if any. Yeah, I'm kind of bummed about that. Um, I'm going to go with the black just for the hell of it. Got fallout everywhere. Holy shit. Just trying to deep. I would never usually go black with a fluffy brush. That's normally where I use a pencil brush. You could see the fog just everywhere. And I didn't tap it off either. But at this point, it's just looking like a muddy mess. Bummer. Oh, guys, is there anything to even save it? Probably not. I'm going to hit solar. No. That's not really helping either. Hmm. All right. Well, I tried. I'll definitely have to play with it more. Maybe it does need a different primer. But the neutral side came out, you know, very pretty. But this is just a hot mess. I know it is. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I know when a mess is a mess. But it does have a lot of kickback, which is weird. So there is the Stelazi Dark Room eyeshadow palette. Luckily, I caught everything on sale, so I don't feel so bad. And there are the swatches. They swatch beautifully. But that's where, just because the swatch is good, doesn't mean it performs good. And that's where it can swatch like shit and work beautifully on the eyes. So you never know. You always just got to play and find out. But no big deal. No skin off my back on this one. I still will play and pick out which colors I like. Everyone have a fabulous day, and I will see you all very soon.